Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer Sticker channel. So in this video guys, we will share the cognizant interview question for automation test engineer. So they have a requirement uh, for like more than three years. Okay, so if you have a five or six year of experience, you know, the level of the question might be same. Okay, so it depends upon the completely the panel, what type of the question they are going to ask you. So all the service-based company like Cognizant and other, you know, service-based company, they are having the one level of the question. But few of the company, the level of the question is completely different. If you will get call from the Cognizant, you will get some idea, you know, what types of the question they are going to ask you. But yes, the question might be different because panel is different, right? Means different panel, means different, different people are taking your interview, right? So might be they have a some different mindset. So not exactly they will ask you the same question. If you are preparing for interview and definitely uh, you will take your interview yourself. Are you able to give the answer or not? Right. And if you're not, then you can just look into that topics, you know, where you are have a big point and where you are going to forget the things. OK, so this is what this question will help you. The first question they always ask tell me about yourself so when someone says tell me about yourself so you have to highlight your uh, in which company you are working currently total year of experience you have to highlight then you have to also highlight relevant experience like you worked in automation testing like a selenium or api testing or manual testing or database testing so include as per your profile okay sometime guys what you have to do might be you don't have a that experience what the company is looking but you have already done the courses suppose you are a manual tester right and you have a very good knowledge you have already worked on the framework you have automated many uh, manual test cases right so you can say your uh, experience as per the company requirement in this scenario your profile will not reject it remember this point okay then you can highlight your uh, skill set your roles and responsibility the simple things what i can say when you say that tell me about yourself so it is a very crisp and clear you are representing your profile and what you are going to speak right so they will you know go for your profile and they will pick you they will ask the question cross question from you what you're going to speak and what you are going to put on your resume okay okay so first question is always tell me about yourself sometimes they will ask you can you highlight your skill set can you highlight your total year of experience can you highlight your uh, what is your roles and responsibility sometimes they will ask you this type of the question but they will tell you tell me about yourself brief introduction yourself right so prepare well this is your first question and first impression is your last impression if you're not able to represent yourself right then they said like so i told you right an interview is the different thing and working environment is the different thing so interview you have to do the practice you have to take your um, you know your interview yourself first right many of the people are like they're not confident in front of the if someone is going to take or you're not able to present yourself so better thing is just open your webcam and start to take your interview yourself okay keep the question somewhere and present and record and you can see how you are going to represent in front of the others second question they have asked um, write a code to find the unique character in a string so even i have attended many interview guys so they have asking the this type of the question very common this question is very common so prepare well and you have a question where i can prepare the java programming so better you can refer the java concept of the day okay just you can search java concept of the day and you can go for the programming section and we have around 100 programming so mostly question they will ask from there if they will not ask the same question you will get some idea how to uh, implement the logic and definitely if the new question will come you guys are able to do it 
second question they have asked what is accessibility modifier in java accessibility modifier means public uh, private protected default so this is called your accessibility modifier so this is your uh, third question right this is your fourth question so fourth question they have asked what is a, a static modifier okay so what is the static in java okay so a static is a one types of the modifier so we have a static member guys okay so a static member means we have a static variable a static block and then we have a static method main method and we have a inner class static as well okay so these are the static members in the java so why a static is required because jvm will provide the common copy of a static okay so in this scenario what happen when you are defining the static you should not create an object okay so what happen here we can uh, unnecessary memory will be not created but again where we can create an object if you have a non static member so i am already working on the java tutorial i have already uploaded few videos okay so you will get those link in the description if you are big in the java so you can just refer my tutorial or we have also paid course for the java so many of the people are going to stuck in the java uh, concept like a uh, programming and they are not clear in the concept if the interviewer will ask you the cross question you will stuck so i have a paid course also you will just go for uh, inside this video description and go through all the links if it is required for you like you are big in the java then you can uh, buy my course or you can watch my free tutorial also but in the paid course guys i have given the lots of the content but if you are not able to afford also then you can refer my tutorial youtube tutorial that is free another question like uh, they have asked uh, what is the final modifier okay so again if you are not clear in the concept and these are the very simple uh, things guys uh, so final is a modifier in java which is used as a class level as a method level as a variable level in the shortcuts i'm just going to tell you so if you will define final as a variable if you will try to modify this value you can't modify if you will verify if you will define uh, uh, class as a final then you cannot um, you know extend extend means you cannot provide the inheritance concept or if you will define final as a method you cannot override this method okay so this is the basic thing like but you can just i told you right if you are big in the java refer my tutorial or you can just uh, go through the paid course as well okay so as your wish but if you will become a perfect in their java concept and in your java programming okay so this is uh, like just overview of that the final modifier another question they have asked what is the difference between ui and api testing so ui right so when you are doing the ui testing we are doing the front end validation you know when you will go for the page uh, web page then you are expecting the element you are writing the selenium code but in api we are doing the back end validation we are going to uh, test uh, api back end part okay so again just google it and make the proper notes what is the code uh, http port protocol so uh, yeah so i forget to tell you so learn the api testing as well because api testing is also required now these days and this is api is the mandatory uh, you know a skills okay so if you don't know the api at least you have to know the basic knowledge of the api even you don't know the um, rest assured it's also fine but i will suggest you learn the rest assured as well but basics you must know because they will ask you like curd operation what is um, get get method what is put method what is post method so i have a api series guys so you can just refer my video so i have uploaded around 45 videos for the api testing 
with proper notes so you can make the proper notes you can just do the hands on practice so this type of question they will ask you then you are able to give the answer so another question is what is the javascript executor okay so javascript executor we have a multiple usage of the javascript executor and they ask how to use to click on the button using the javascript executor just google it you will get many things you know you can just you have a snapshot of the code as well so next question is what are the test management tools you have used so some general question they are asking for manual testing so jira we have a rally so many test management tools are there so if you don't know any test management tools or you did not work on that so i refer learn jira properly so you will get many tutorial on the youtube as well so another question they have asked what is the severity and priority uh, so what is the severity and priority so for the manual testing i have uploaded many video guys so refer my video prepare well do the proper practice and definitely you will crack your interview okay so question level is very simple it's not a high level of the question and all if you are doing the proper preparation then definitely you guys are able to crack the interview okay so that's it guys so these are the technical round and the cognizant still they are hiring uh, you know so you can just check in the linkedin and knock even if you want i will also share some email id for cognizant hr so if you want to apply for the cognizant you can comment below and definitely i will try to collect the hr email id and you guys can apply over there okay so if you are new in the channel guys so please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so many of them are not subscribing my channel okay just watching the video uh, it take a lot of time for me to make the content and if you will support me and definitely i will give you the more content and coming days i will upload many tutorial okay so please subscribe share with your friend like if this is not useful for you share with your friend which is the people who is from the same background when they are searching the job they are struggling to crack the interview and one more thing we are also providing the live training so many of them you did not work in the real time but you are struggling with the real time what we are doing in the company in the automation testing right so i have worked on the multiple automation project so i have a all idea how we are working hands on practice we will also provide you we will support you how to get the more interview calls and all okay so if you want to join my live training also so you can comment below you can reach out to me and we'll give you the more information in the last please do not forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification see you in the next video bye bye